Hello reformers and welcome back to Elix. As far as I'm aware, that's how you say it still. Yes. Anyway, we are here just outside of the complex where we were exploring a little bit and we took care of a couple of rats and things like that. We have five arrows remaining, so I should be able to use the bow a little bit to do some damage. But otherwise, we have an iron bar. We also have this adventurer's amulet that we picked up in the previous episode, so that's nice. And otherwise, we do have these worker pants, which I neglected to put on. So let's equip those. They're going to give me a little bit of armor. It's probably not going to help too much. Right, so let us continue onward. Hello there, Doris. Yes. Okay, so actions like sprinting and attacking or evading, you know, all that sort of stuff. If you're out of stamina, you can't perform these actions. All right, so instead of just following him blindly, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk around and I'm just going to try and pick up a couple of things. Oh, a large healing potion. Wow, that's going to come in handy. I, I, I don't know. Wow, that's, that's, mm, that's pretty rare, I guess. I don't know. I mean, we have quite a few minor ones, but large? No way. All right, so let's just continue looking around here because I'm pretty sure we're going to find some some nice things. We do have to be a bit cautious, though, because you never know when there are going to be some beasties that want to kill you. There's one over there, for example. Yes, we probably don't want to go over there too much. I would like to pick up this. There we go. Meadow herb. Okay, let's let, let, let's just make my way away from that. Yes, because I think that might be a bit high level for me at the moment. So, let's just make sure that I'm not going to get murdered instantly upon being away from him. Ah, hello there. Powerful mana plant as well. That's nice. Okay, is there anything else here? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, so where, where is Duras? He's gone way, way ahead of us here. But that's okay, because we need to pick up some things like this rusty axe, for example. Huh. That rusty axe could probably be quite useful for us. There you go. It has 22 damage instead of 20. Okay. A minor upgrade, but still better than nothing. Just got to make sure that I'm not missing anything. I mean, I'm, I'm bound to miss something, so do bear that in mind. You know, there's it's not really anything I can do about that. Not unless you're extremely detailed and look around everywhere, but I am bound to miss a couple of things. I think that is something that I can pick up. Isn't it? Yep. Poison leaf. All right, let's go over here to the main road because okay. he does wait for you. Watch your step. I've never come through this area once without getting attacked. If it's so dangerous, why do you come out here? Magalan almost died when the comet hit. A living, breathing planet turned to ash and dust. But the berserkers are using their magic to bring our world back to life. Just look around you. Edan is the greenest place on Magalan. They need more people. And they offer anyone who comes the same chance to start over. We should move on. One downside of all this plant life is that you can't see the rot boars coming. Let's keep going. All right. And follow me. All right. Yes, I will do that. But as I was saying before he interrupted me, uh, yes, he does actually wait for you. So... Yeah, if you're playing along with me, then, uh, yeah, you don't have to rush. I suppose you would have already figured that out by now, but still. We are just going to search around a little bit. There's actually a bit of a campfire over there. Small healing plant can always come in handy. What's that over there? Oh, I did not see that before. Okay, this is going to be interesting. A troll leaf. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. Oh, what is that? That's one of those things. Okay, we got to get ready for this. It's one of those things that we fought when we were picking up the adventurer's amulet. I have to be a little bit careful here. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to try and evade this. Oh, no. That oh, that was yeah, that was not good. Didn't have any stamina. Didn't have any stamina. That is the main problem there. Right, so, yeah, if you if you can't see that, you can actually perform a special attack with Q, and the better you time your attacks, the more combo power you get. Now, as you've seen, <laughs> suffice it to say, I'm not very good at this particular combat system just yet. I haven't had that much experience with it, so do forgive me. Anyway, let's try and do a special move. Boom. Oh, yeah, that was nice. All right. 
So we got that down. Now, I'm not entirely sure what the items do. The, the small healing plants. Do they actually give me some health? They give me plus seven. And they give me... Oh, it's regeneration. Ah, oh, interesting. Okay. So if I assign this to number four, that might come in handy. As you can see, it's healing us a little bit. That's always nice. All right, so there is a ruin over there. I'm, I'm a bit worried about going over there, to be honest, because I think that maybe there's going to be more of those things. And they are the easiest enemies. They're probably the easiest enemies, at least. And I'm having trouble with them, so... Maybe not the best idea. But it is an RPG, and I'd very much love to explore a little bit, even if it does mean that I die as a result. All right, let's do this. Okay, I can sneak as well, by the way. I, I, I continually forget that. It is quite slow to, to sneak, though, so maybe not the best idea. Oh, hello there. Who are you? Who is that over there? That is most likely an enemy. Am I right? I don't know. Let's see. This is going to be interesting. I don't know. It doesn't seem like an enemy. It seems to be right out in the open, but... Uh... I don't know. Okay, I, I guess we're going to go over there and see what's up. I kind of feel like saving beforehand. Is there, a, there? There is a quick save, as far as I'm aware, so maybe I should just do that. Let's just do a quick save real quick. Yes, that is the nature of a quick save. There we are. Okay, now let's see if he's going to absolutely murder us. He looks friendly, but maybe my judgment is off. I think he's going to kill us. This is very slow, very slow sneaking speed. Is he? I have my axe at the ready. Oh my. Right. Okay, I gotta run. I'm <laughs> yes, I am gonna run. Pick up that. Pick up this as well. Last message. Damn right. They rejected me. They rejected almost everyone. They promised salvation for the world. But it was only ever for the Chosen. Kalan the Great Light. Kalan the Great Lie. You brought us here with hope. Now we die away from hope. Are you ready to go on? Um, I'm not ready to go on, actually. I mean, if you could actually hear that audio message, by the way. I, I couldn't really hear it at the time, because I was just absolutely getting murdered by this guy. Could you... Doris, could you... Could you just see that this guy's an enemy and actually help me out? Uh, okay, right. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and move him around here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Apparently, we're not killing that guy that wants to murder me. Okay. Yes. Can we find anything useful over there? Can we find anything useful there? Maybe. Maybe. A group of clerics came through this area a few days ago. A scouting party reconnoitering Goliath. Well, that was their plan. Instead, they ran into a group of rot boars. Got chased into those ruins and haven't come out. Okay, so I, I'm a bit worried about this. Okay, so let's see. Hmm. The only good enemy is a dead enemy. Those rot boars saved you a job. The only good enemy is a dead enemy. Those rot boars saved you a job. So, you think the value of life is decided by the style of armor it wears? Well... You'll find many that agree with you. But for me, if Magellan is to survive, every life must count. Why haven't you joined a faction? Why did you choose to join the Berserkers and not the Clerics? The Clerics follow the god Kalan, who tells them technology will save us all. I don't believe in gods, and I don't think boxes of cables hold all the answers. Uh, yeah, Th this might be a little bit awkward because that guy's listening to our conversation. <laughs> I'm sure he's ready to butcher us as soon as we're done, though. He's being polite about that. Maybe I should join the outlaws. Huh. They might call themselves the kings of the desert, but they're just hanging on to survival like the rest of us. And that survival comes at the cost of anyone around them and their own kind. I have no interest in factions. I cannot decide whether to join a faction out here. Let's go on. Well, we have a choice to make. 
You're short of equipment. We could see if the clerics have left any in the ruins. You want us to go into the ruins? That's up to you. But there's a risk to that. So maybe we should just head straight for Goliath. I better warn you that the creatures in there won't take prisoners. It would definitely be safer to bypass them for now. So what do you think? Shall we risk entering the ruins? Let's go into the ruins. A brave choice. Opportunities are there to be seized. Very true. I took the- oh my, it now tells me that I took the hard path. That's fantastic. I think I already took the hard path by getting that reaver after me, yes. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great. Okay, so open your agitor with uh, that to distribute attribute points. Okay, and find a teacher and spend learning points to learn new skills. Alright, so let's spend our attribute points here. Actually- Oh. Right. He did kill me in one hit. That's rather amusing, I gotta say. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's load the last save wherever that may be. Hopefully it's... is it over here? Ah, it's over here. Oh, that's fantastic. Phew! Phew, alright, alright, alright. Okay, so, at least we're back here. And that's great. So, at least we know that there's some Elix over here that I can pick up. There's also a healing potion right there that I missed. And some iron ore and metal scrap. There's absolutely everything. Yes, apparently, according to some people, I've heard that there is no carry weight or carry limit. So you can pick up absolutely everything, which is fantastic. So thank you very much for letting me know about that, because I was a bit worried about it. Otherwise, let's just go down here and take some more of this stuff. There we go. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm actually just going to turn down the music volume a little bit, and then we'll be meeting up with Duras. Ah, what is this? I seem to have found some supplies, and it might be a nice idea to take an energy drink. Thank you. And a pelt. And a claw. All right. Uh, it seems like a hunter's goods here. Yes, I seem to be stealing from someone. Well, that's probably not the best idea. Now, what I'm going to do is, because this game is very unforgiving, and as you could see... Quite brutal in the fact that that guy killed me in one hit, but we were kind of expecting that, I guess, because he was very high level. Anyway, because of that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to keep a list of the people that actually murder us in this game. And what we're going to try and do is, when we are higher level, we're going to come back to these places and we're going to murder them in return. So hopefully we'll be able to do that. Anyway, here's the campfire that I was talking about in the previous episode, where you can cook meat and then you can get fried meat which is actually very nice so let's do that there we are fried meat received times four and that will give us 12 seconds of plus 12 health every second as far as i'm aware so that is nice i like that let's just pick up as much stuff as we can get there's also a med kit over here an unusable first aid kit why is it unusable huh well, that's unfortunate there seems to be someone dead here just exploded but, yeah, okay, well, seems like my exploration did yield a little bit of decent results, I suppose. But otherwise, I guess we should go back to Doris. And we are going to make the same decisions again, by the way. Hopefully I can skip some of the conversation, because we've already kind of heard that. Albeit with very, very loud music in the background. Are you ready to go on? I am kind of ready. Hopefully I'm not going to get murdered again in one hit. It's mo more than likely going to happen. Let's take another healing plant. Make sure we're at, we're at full HP. What are the ruins over there? Remnants of the old world. A reminder that the past can be left behind. Can we find anything useful there? Maybe. Maybe. A group of clerics came through this. Well, instead. Aha, okay, I just found out how to skip conversation. It's right click. Ah, right click. All right, so let's have a look here. Mm, yeah. Should we, should we just say something different this time? Eaten by rot boars? That is no death for a warrior. Concern for an enemy? Well, you're right. No one deserves that death. I wish more people would look for common ground instead of shouting our differences. Why haven't you joined a faction? 
Right, so I generally skipped most of these things beforehand because of the music and because it was just drowning out the voice of Doras and he was the one that was explaining most things. So this time we're going to skip these two and I'm going to ask about the Albs and we're going to see what he says about that. Why did you... Look, I don't... Maybe I... Maybe I should join the Albs. You don't join the Albs. You're born one or they choose you. That means most people are taken, rejected, and killed horrifically. The survivors are turned into mindless addicts. They might once have been free people like you and me, but Elix has turned them all into emotionless killing machines. Go to Zaykor if you want, but all that will await you is misery and death. Oh, interesting, interesting. I don't know why I would say, stop questioning me about my business or I'll get angry. I don't know why I would say that, because he's only been helping us so far. I have no interest in factions. I cannot decide whether... Well, we... We are short of equipment. You want us to... That's a... But... I bet... Let's go into the ruins. Let's it's probably gonna be a mistake. Alright, so this time, at least, we can actually level up. I find it quite amusing, however, that the game does not pause while I'm looking at my stats. Uh, that would be that would be what would happen to me, wouldn't it? Alright, so here's the thing. I have no idea what I'm going to be specking into. This might actually be kind of cool, because cunning affects social skills and also unlocks certain abilities. For outlaws, it increases chem capacity, and I'm thinking that maybe I'm going to be selecting outlaws at this rate. As far as I'm aware as well, outlaws use ranged weapons. So dexterity is probably going to be something that we want to go for. Also, con constitution sounds like a great idea. It seems like strength is for berserkers and intelligence is for clerics dexterity is for outlaws and then constitution is obviously for hp and cunning does seem to be much more for outlaws as well so considering i, I don't actually know i'm I, I really don't know i haven't looked anything up by the way so this is all blind absolutely all blind uh increases range damage i mean i guess i could do that but I'm thinking of just putting all of my points into Constitution right now. I'm going to just put all of my points into Constitution, which is a really bad idea. I know. I know. But I haven't, I haven't looked anything up. No guides. No no, Let's nothing go. like that. So, yeah, that was probably a mistake, considering. But I do tend to like to explore RPGs for the first time just by myself and see what's kind of going on. And have a whale of a time like that. If I'm not able to kill anything, however, then that's obviously going to be funny. Uh, oh well, never mind. I, I mean, I, I'm actually doing decent damage as it is, so I suppose I, I don't really need to worry too much about it. Now, I'm going to just stay behind Doris here, because I'm really, really worried about getting absolutely murdered by this thing, for example. Okay, let's... Yeah, let, shall we just not do that? Yeah, let's be a little bit careful about it, because this stamina is really not very good for me. I mean, as you can see, the stamina is very, very easy to deplete when you're attacking and evading and doing all that sort of stuff. So we do want to be a little bit careful about it. Now, there are a number of buildings in this area that I'd love to be able to pillage. There's even that technology little piece over there, which I believe is a teleporter. Hello, this is a rot boar, by the way. Yeah. Looks like someone used this as a kid before now. Maybe I could use Right, so you can see that Duras is doing an absolutely amazing amount of damage, and I am not, but I did get some experience from it, hilariously enough. I guess I'm just leeching from him. He's just so powerful that <laughs> <laughs> uh, he could just power level us, yes. You can now return any time to this place through the map on your Adjudator. Adjudator? Adju Adju yeah, Adjudator. There we go. Yes, I don't want to climb it, though. Thank you very much. All right, so. We should get moving. Let's pick up this small healing plant. Okay, so, yeah, let, let's go in here. And wait a minute. Wait, yes. wait for me. I picked up a cleric weapon. Let's go. Oh, my. This is very, very dark in here. Can I pick up some of this? Oh, no, please don't leave me alone. Okay, I'm going to take all. Yes. Oh no, I'm having a bad feeling that I'm going to get ambushed if he leaves us. Oh no, there he is. Oh, thank you very much for waiting for me. Oh yes, he's just like, oh, this guy again. He's looting everything. Absolutely terrible person. Okay, oh, there we go. 
Oh, there's a rat. Should probably just kill that for the experience. There's also another rot. Oh no, it's a, a spine hound or something. Do it all. Do it. Do a special move. A special move. Can I do a special move? Yes. There's a special move. Okay. I don't really want to take aggro though, do I? If there is an aggro system in the game, maybe there is. Okay. There we go. That was nice. This. Oh yeah. Oh phew. I thought to myself, there's something on the minimap behind us, and then I thought to myself, oh, it's a very powerful enemy. No, no, it's just a teleporter, I guess. So let's go in here, see what's actually going on. No, I'm not ready to go on, thank you very much. He is leaving me now. Oh, no. That's terrible. We don't want to sleep, thank you. Propaganda. Well, thanks for that. Yeah. Maybe that's useful. I was actually thinking that I might be able to pick up some of these boots or something along along the lines of that, but it doesn't seem like it. Anything in here? There are some more cleric corpses. A mission report. Oh, interesting. We well, can probably read that afterwards. Energy drink. Okay, thank you. Anything else around here? Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, another corpse. We need five of those to complete the quest. There's another one. Right, okay, I'm a bit worried about going over here by myself. As we've seen, enemies are very powerful. But I guess as long as we're with Duras, and as long as he takes most of the damage, we should be absolutely fine. This seems like a pretty cool place to be. Look at this. This is a really, really nice hideout. And there's going to be something cool at the top here, isn't there? 100% there's going to be something cool, right? Yep, let me just... <laughs> let me just do a little hop. There we go. Ah, hello there. Give me this. Mana potion, magnesium torch. I mean, I guess the good thing about me speaking into Constitution is that I can basically then still decide if I want to play with any particular faction. Obviously, I still don't know which one. There was something hanging there. Something hanging there, hey? Hmm. Okay, just take that, take this, and this. <laughs> Alright, so is there anything else? There's a chest. That's locked. Obviously, I can't open that. Seems like I can't. Okay, well, uh, that seemed to be it. Interesting. Right. Well, I'm going to try and open the chest because that seems to No, I'm not good enough for that. No, I'm not good enough for that. He has he has realistic goals, doesn't he? He's like, "Oh, yes, I'm not good enough for this." There we go. That worked. <laughs> I bet you all thought, "Oh, he's going to die." Uh, no. Not this time. But maybe another time. Anyway, in the next episode, we will I guess continue following Doris. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.